I met John Pertwee today, and I told him that when I was in London several years ago, saw him give one of the great comic stage performances in a play called There's a Girl in My Soup, and I was real pleased to meet him, because he is really a legendary English star who's been nice enough to come to Australia with his show. So I think you're real lucky here in Australia and Sydney just to be able to see him in person. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Now, I want to I ask you, because he's already asleep. Yes. You know, he takes drugs, you know. No. I want to ask you, what, what this medal is. This is beautiful medal. You can't see it because there's a close-up. Well, what is this? You should know what that is. That is the Grand Order of Water Rats, which is the... Uh, what? Well, you, you know. You, they obviously, you, you knew you've heard of the Grand oh, Order of Water Rats. We don't have, right. No, I don't know. Well, it's, you, you, it's, it's rather like your lambs club. You know, oh, it's like a show business club. It's a show business uh, oh. lodge. It's like the sort of Masonic lodge of the light entertainment business in the oh. in England. Well, I have an office in England. Could they get me a membership if I'm no. a good boy? No. No, no Thank way. You. Why? Well, you have to wait. You have to wait to be told. Oh, excuse me. You have to wait to be asked. I know Brenda. Yeah, that won't help you. Thank you. That's, <laughs> that's the point. Yes, I didn't know. Uh, John. Yes. You good play. evening. Very nice Hello. to meet you. How are you? Very nice. Well, everyone knows you were Doctor Who for five years. Yes. The thing I was fascinated about finding out about you was the amount of children's records and books that you've done. This is something we don't know about in Australia. I even read that you did Hans Christian Anderson, wrote it, recorded it, recorded yeah. in your own voice, then in Danny Kaye's voice as well. Uh, no, 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 no. I, I, I used to be called, for some strange reason, England's Danny Kaye. Uh, I, people thought I looked a bit like him. Do you think I look like him, Alan? Oh, no. You, you don't? You look like Sybil Burton. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I'd much, like much rather look like Sybil Burton than I would from Danny Kaye. Of course. But I, wa I was uh, told at one time that I looked very like him. And uh, I, but I, I once made a, a, a movie, very stupidly, because I was short of a bit of money, because Danny couldn't come to England, and he made a film called Knock on Wood in England. Yeah. And, I, and so I doubled for him because he couldn't come. And that was a terrible error, because Danny gave the whole game away uh, after the premiere. What do you he mean double for I, oh, it was I really, it was he, really he John the whole time, you see. He, he couldn't come to, to London, so I was doing all the scenes in London and England. And, uh, well, but I country. saw it. He was in it. Yes, he was in it, yes, but I mean, I, he couldn't come to England, so all the shots that you saw I, in London Is in the that country, true? that was all me. Were that's you the one true, under the yes. table pulling all the Oh, lenses. that's amazing. I didn't yeah. know that. Darting in and out of the cars and all that. Yes. That was me, yeah. Well, I'm going to tell that in America. I can't wait to go on Johnny Carson. <laughs> Danny Kay, that fraud. You have great hair. Does he have the best hair? So don't you think this guy has fabulous hair? Can you see the join? That's the important thing. <laughs> you'll have a pull. Go on, have a pull, because they might not believe it. Go on, have a real good time. It's on. like Ann Miller's hair. It's fair. It doesn't move. <laughs> but you know, no, it's one beautiful. of the reviews I was reading today about uh, your show in England, they're saying, this guy does a one-man stand up of flamenco, calypso. That's right, yes, I do in cabaret. Yeah, well, I'm For a great someone who's seen you in, in Doctor Who, this is... Can you give well, us I a rundown? Yeah, well, I, no, I don't do that in Doctor Who, no. No, no, uh, but... No, I do this in sections. You see, I, I used to be a, a straight actor. I, I was brought up as a straight actor. I'm from an acting family. My family had been in the theatre for generations, so there was nothing else I could do except go on the dole. Um, What's I, that? The dole. That's the way when you get money for doing dole. Relief. Dole, relief. You know, it's a relief. Oh. Uh, relief. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yeah, that means pineapple in Hawaii. Military, not sexual. Oh. Yes. Okay. And so, <laughs> so, uh, uh, yeah. Where the hell were we? I, 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 but you, you were on relief. Really? Really? What? You were on relief. Your family well, was interviewing your family me. Was, well, Alan's interviewing me. We both are. I'm interjecting. Right. We love you. Right. We love Just carry on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. When did you first play for Australia? When did I? I haven't. Uh, where? <laughs> uh, when did I p first play in Australia? It was yes. 27 years ago. Sure. Yes. You're uh, the captain of the New Zealand team. Yeah. <laughs> I was here. Is there still a bit of? I was 27 years ago. Yes, at the first Folie Berger review type show in Australia yeah. for the uh, late David N. Martin. And who, who, who won? Contender. Who won the game? Uh, well, uh, um, I did because I didn't care for Mr. David N. Martin, so I left very early. I was supposed yes. to be here for another year, and I decided I'd go to Tahiti instead, and I lived there for a year. It was much, much more pleasurable. When you first uh, directed, when you first directed the uh, Village People, did you find them easy to work with? <laughs> <laughs> did you do the nude when you were in the Follies, was you? Uh, no, no, no. I, I left that two ladies. They were more attractive than oh, I, I was see. then. I Not see. now. I see. Then. Let me ask, listen. You are just being a silly old person. <laughs> I want to know how. What? No one sells here. How long will we be playing in Sydney? And when can they get tickets? And let's get on with it. No, seriously, how, well, how long is your season here? Uh, I, I'm not doing a season here. Oh, God. <laughs> so, that, so that is the end of that conversation. Oh, my it's God. It's the, the theatre restaurant, the theatre restaurant at Bankstown. I'm doing the theatre restaurant in, Banktown, in Banktown for four days, and then I go to Townsville, and I'm going to Townsville because I want to go and dive. I'm a diver. 
Um, that's my hobby. Um, what, do you mean, what do you mean, diver? Dive, you know, sub aquat look, you know, the things that the way you go around and you look for treasures like that. It's called a piece of eight. You've heard of a piece yes, of eight? Yes, that's yes, the yes. pirate treasure. Oh, you know? you, oh, you, oh, I see. And I go down and I look for things like that, but I won't find anything like that. I, I'll probably find some starfish eating whelks or something. Good. But I want to do that because it's the most beautiful reef in the world to dive You've on. You've also been described you know? for many, not as a diver, but as a man of a thousand voices. So they say, as it's completely untrue, of course, nobody's got a thousand voices, they all sound much the same, but uh, they have the same pitch. Except Peter Sellers, he has an astonishing range. But uh, yeah, I do most dialects and most characters. Can you do a Peter Sellers for us? No, no, who can? Peter can't, because Peter doesn't know who he is. I don't know who I am. <laughs> but uh, we all hide under what we call green umbrellas. We don't like to be ourselves very long. But the Doctor Who was about the first time that I was myself. Right, now tell us this review you do at, at the bank. Theater. Well, it, it isn't a review. It, it's just that it's an what entertainment. I'm an entertainer. I, I don't really know until I get out there. I, I, it varies according to the audience. I'm a raconteur, basically. I tell stories in dialect. I find out where people come from and tell stories in the dialects where they came from or their antecedents. Do you still from. play the banjo? And I still play the guitar, but with only four strings, because I originally started playing a ukulele and I never built up from there. <laughs> so, so I play a ukulele with a very big version of it, you know, sort of daddy. And you may or may not dance. But, but I may or may not dance, you yes. You may or may not I recite may or, poetry. I may or may not, um, yeah, I, well, I do recite a bit of poetry, yes, I do, yes, yes. You may or may not sing. I do sing, oh yes, I do I do uh, satirical songs, uh, folk songs with the guitar. Mm. But you only, how long are you here for? For four days. Yes. Oh, what a waste. Oh, well, yeah, but I'm coming I... back, I mean, I haven't been here for 27 years, I've been in New Zealand, you see, for a month. And I, I have to go back because I have to start work on my new television series which you're about to show in, in, in Australia. Which is? Wurzel Gummidge. <laughs> Wurzel Gummidge, my dear, and that's, that's And would you be telling us what it's about? I will. It's in Irish. Would you oh. say, would you be telling us what it's about? That's Irish. That is about, about a, a scarecrow uh, called Wurzel Gummidge. His, his head's made out of mango wurzel. Do you know what I'm talking about? No. no, no, no. Well, they, some of them might do, because it's a very popular book. It was written years and years ago by a lady called Barbara Euphan Todd in the 30s, and it's about a scarecrow who comes to life through the love of two little children, and they befriend him, and he oh. becomes a, a uh, friend of theirs. Ah, that's sweet. It is oh, I like sweet, yes. Why don't you do films like that? That'd be nice. Well, you probably it? will, don't they? Talk I, him out I'm going to steal it. Yeah. No, you won't steal no, it. No. You can't. You're going to make no. it before or after the rugby movie? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to... Listen, I actually, you know what I'm doing? You, you find this fascinating. I'm going to do a Broadway, London, musical version of La Cage aux Are you indeed? Yes, have you seen it? No. You should see it. Yes. Because you'd be wonderful in it. Have I got the job? Well, we could talk about it. Can we talk money? I'd like to talk money. It's the most important part of it all, is the money. <laughs> I, I don't, it's too vulgar to talk about money. Oh, well, I'll be... You're, you're in the art. You're, you're for art. What? No, I'm not for art. I'm for toot. <laughs> is that like tit? No, no, no. The tut is money. Oh, I see. Don't he speak English? What's the matter with his geese? Well, mate, he's only going to offer the Queen a million, so I don't think the... Uh... <laughs> Does he think the Queen be good on those Deborah car parts? Deborah car parts? Yes, with the Queen? No, not very. Oh. No. What, what, what would you cast her in? Who? who? The Queen. The Queen? She could do a play or a movie. What would I... Oh. Who? Oh. Uh, Set the tables. What would I cast the Queen in? I think her own role. I think she's best at that. No, she's fabulous at that. Mm. Mm. I don't, I, that, 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 that subject that's, that's the best performance in the world. Isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, John Pertwee, we've only got four days to see him, but when you are back in Sydney, yes, could we extend it? Could you come back on the show and we just have a whole night with you entertaining us? I would love as, it. As you would see. I, I would like to very much indeed. Because it would be nice to have a gentleman with us on the show. <laughs> <laughs> the nice. Don't say that. Don't. I, I think that's very... How, how they the turn. worm turn. <laughs> 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 what sort of role would you see Alan playing? Alan, well, the role he's done, which he's, uh, he's done miraculously. I he mean, has, he, he? has, yes. I mean, he's done extraordinary things with extraordinary people and uh, made himself a million into the bargain, so you can't do better than that, can you? I, hope, I, I hope when we... Did you, did you say you had a Rolls? Yes, an old did you? one. An old Rolls, and you, you banged into... Um, the yeah. gentleman's car. Uh, Did you have you heard the story about the gentleman who went to the motor show in London and he wanted to buy a new car and the the, the salesman said, "I say so." He said, "Have you have you seen, have you seen the new automatic car?" <laughs> 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 and he said, uh, "No, no, I, I don't. I don't think so. No." He said, "Absolutely fantastic, sir." He said, "You see, it has absolutely no brakes, no steering wheel, no clutch, no nothing." <laughs> <laughs> he said, it has two little dials for starting, one for starting, one for stopping. Well, what code word would you like for starting? The old man said, 
He said, I don't know, God blimey. He said, what, 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 what was that, sir? He said, I, I said, oh, God blimey. He said, that's a swear word in England. Yeah. And he said, oh, very good indeed, sir. Yes, and he said it to old God blimey. He said, now, what would you like for stopping? He said, I don't know, an old Indian army word, flub. He said, I have no idea what it means, sir. All the better for that. Very good indeed, sir. Yes, flub, for stopping. So he said, oh, God blimey for starting and flub for stopping. So he bought it. And uh, he said, oh, God blimey. And the car shot away, went three times around the stadium. When he said flub, it stopped dead on the button. And he bought it. He was so impressed. And he took his wife for a drive, you see, that weekend. And halfway down to a place called Brighton, which is in the south coast of England, uh, he, his wife said, "Have you any objection, Charles, to my having a drive?" And he said, "No, dear. I get behind the do steer. Get a 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 get <laughs> oh, God, blimey, and the car shot away, you see. And when it got outside this place called Brighton, it turned left, heading towards the place called Eastbourne, and between Eastbourne and Brighton, you, um, you know, Alan, you've been to London and England, and there's a, a great series of cliffs, the White Cliffs of Dover, and there's a, an enormously tall cliff there called Beachy Head, and right opposite Beachy Head, the car went completely berserk, and it went to the left to the right and left to the left, and it went over the grass verge and headed straight for Beachy Head. You see, the husband said, Stop the car, dear! Stop the children! I'm, 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 I'm pulling the pull, 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 and I put a put a put you on a push. And he said, he said, well, say the code, we're well, stopping. She said, well, what is it? He said, flub. And she said, flub. And the car stopped that much from the edge of Beachy Head. And the husband said, oh, God, blind. <laughs> <laughs>